Welcome to a world that seems to get stranger by the day. Every time I think I've seen it all, something new pops up. I really need your help with this one. Um, I was cooking some spinach and one of the leaves just started inflating and I'm not sure if that's supposed to happen. It kind of looks like plastic. What you're looking at here is the aftermath of a drum y'all why did i get it just to try it and fucking look y'all this is 24 hours later like this is 24 hours later just watching this kills my appetite but we still have to eat oh my God. sauce did not do that The whole piece of fish. Just gone. Look at that. It's like... Have you ever seen chicken break apart like this? Like, I literally just put my thumb in it. Keep digging and see. It's wild how much we rely on each other to survive, yet the deceit in people makes you question how far some will go for money. I do not want you to know about. If you don't ever see him again, you'll know it's because of this video. Just watch. So I went and looked up Popeye's chicken sandwich. Come to find out, they have 40 over 40 ingredients in the Popeye's chicken sandwich, 32 of them were man-made chemicals. And I said, well, let's see what Chick-fil-A has. Over 50 chemicals in the chicken sandwich, over 40 of them were man-made chemicals. I said it in a message and someone took the clip of it and then went on the website of Chick-fil-A, had it broke down where they were clicking on it, showing all of the ingredients and these chemicals that were in it. Do you know the next day Chick-fil-A took that down off their website? A Chick-fil-A sandwich, something that should have 10 ingredients at most, has over 50 ingredients in it. And they know they're doing something wrong too. They won't even show you the ingredients online anymore. This is just pleading guilty. So I started doing some more research and found that this compound right here, dimethylpulsiloxane, is in their chicken sandwich. Look at these side effects, eye irritation, skin issues, and most importantly, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. They are poisoning you. This stuff is going to destroy your gut from the inside out. In the long run, this is not going to be good. These fast food places, they don't care about you. They're putting the cheapest possible ingredients in their foods so they can make as much money off you as possible, even if it's detrimental to your health in the long run. Personally, I've been eating way too much fast food, and I am not proud of it. This is something that, at least to me, could legitimately become terrifying. A company in the San Francisco Bay Area has developed technology where people can communicate with each other while they're both asleep in their dreams. So while you're asleep and dreaming, someone else asleep and dreaming could come and just join your dreams or maybe just observe what you're doing. The company is called REM Space, and they say they got to the point in September where they linked two people while they were lucid dreaming. Remind me of that movie Inception with Leonardo DiCaprio. Crazy world we live in. There was a time when I thought things like these were impossible. Privacy will be extinct in the future. Who thinks living in a world like the movie Minority Report is possible? The images that I'm sharing with you are truly spectacular and have so many questions. They were actually captured by a woman named Laura at Morris Beach on October 10th, 2024 in Connecticut. She was out trying to capture photos of the Aurora Borealis, but she captured so much more. What looks like some sort of portal or maybe even wormhole was captured in the evening sky. Now, this almost makes you wonder about the theory that Albert Einstein had proposed regarding wormholes and their existence. Could this be truth to the Albert Einstein Rosen Bridges, also known as wormholes? Take a look at these images and tell me what you think.
With CERN pushing experiments beyond our understanding and the unsettling idea of interdimensional beings in the mix, the thought of hidden portals doesn't feel far-fetched. In Antarctica, a door, or a doorway, has been spotted on Google Maps. And this story is being reported all over mainstream media. So, there are a lot of mysteries about Antarctica. Because not many people have been down there to see what's going on for themselves. Although a lot of countries have bases in Antarctica. And those countries aren't talking. Then today, this was spotted on Google Maps. Someone has come out and said, that's a door from an airplane. A door from an airplane? It just fell off over Antarctica and no one knew about it till now? I don't know, that seems kind of odd to me. I think you'd notice a door falling off a plane if you were on the plane. Here's a video we're being told is from Antarctica. What the heck was that? That looked like a cave. Maybe some people might think it's a doorway. But let's take a closer look. Like I said, we're told this is Antarctica and it could be a cave, a doorway, or the entrance to something. But my question is, what do you think about all this shenanigans? going on in Antarctica with this doorway found on Google Maps. Let me know what you think in the comment section, Vooskies. Shabadoo! Imagine doorways lurking just beyond sight, waiting for someone to cross a line they didn't even know was there. Who knows what could be waiting on the other side, or what might decide to step through. U.S. Congress calls for emergency session. James Webb Telescope discovers giant UFO in the shape of a cube. The James Webb Telescope, known for its incredible discoveries in space, has detected a mysterious object only 0.9 light years away from Earth. It is 10 times larger than Earth and is moving directly towards us. This news has caused such a stir that the US Congress has called for an immediate emergency session. Scientists and politicians are feverishly discussing what this could mean for the future of Earth. The object itself is sending strange signals and making active course corrections. It accelerates and stops repeatedly, almost like a secret language that we have yet to understand. NASA is officially remaining silent for now. However, this discovery by the James Webb Telescope surpasses all expectations. What if this object is really heading for Earth? This discovery could change everything. Humanity holds its breath and looks to the sky in anticipation. Will we soon have another contact with extraterrestrials? What do you think? Follow the channel for regular updates. Here are a few UFO clips I found last week. Entertaining for now, at least until I'm sitting across the table from one. Okay, you see this thing? What does that look like to you? That looks like a person. It definitely looks like a person to me now. Who could it possibly be? That's the question. If it is a person, and how are they in the sky? Well, watch this footage that was taken in Sequoia Park in California this year of these people, they see this thing just turning in the sky and they realize this looks like an actual person. What is it, an interdimensional being? Watch this. Like a... Dude, it looks like a dude in a suit. It looks like Iron Man. Jonathan, what in the world? Probably the super. Might be the super people, Maldakians. <laughs> yeah. I don't know nothing about no Maldakians. <laughs> you'll know, you'll know when you see, when you guys see them. It looks like his legs in the air. Check this out. When he turns, he's got his leg up. What is this thing? I know we got people. Oh, that's probably a Well, you know, it does look like a hologram. Oh, yeah. Leave your comments. Let me know what you think about this. Who is that? What is that? What's going on? UFOs are being spotted and sighted by dozens and even hundreds of witnesses across the United States. The sightings have completely shot through the roof and it makes you wonder why, what's going on? Is it because of this new big disclosure that's coming in November from the government or is it something else? 
The following two videos are from two different witnesses across the U.S. They were taken around October 9th. The first one shows what looks like this odd cloud in the sky. And when the camera tries to focus on it, it actually blurs. The thing, it really does look like a cloaked ship. Like this is truly obvious. The next one, another witness re records this unidentified object in the sky just rotating and it truly looks like a triangular object. They are just obvious now. But we have to keep asking that question. Why now? What's going on? This is the weirdest looking cloud I've ever seen. That's like the weirdest cloud I've ever seen. And it's the only one, the only cloud in the sky. And it's the strangest. It, <laughs> that's bizarre looking. Look at that. Weirdest looking thing. With CG capabilities being what they are, it's getting tougher to tell what's real. Very short. Look at it. Is that, what is that? Look at it. Zoom in on it. Look at it. No, look at it. It's like flashing. Aliens. What is that? That's crazy. Can you see it? <gasps> what is that? Oh my god, we're gonna no, die. No, look at my phone. It's doing the same exact thing. Look at my phone. What is going on in China, y'all? The people in China have been coming across weird things in the sky, y'all. Check this out. Look at this. Look at that. There are literally meteors falling out of the sky. Those can't be fireworks, y'all. Look at the way that they're heading to the earth. So yeah, y'all, do you honestly believe this is fireworks? And if that was the case, why would they run inside the house? And then why isn't the whole sky lit up, y'all? So that's China. Now, I want you to check this thing out that came out of the sky in China yesterday, y'all. Wait until this person zooms in. Look at this, y'all. This this, this is literally like Galactica. Remember that? Remember? In, look at that, y'all. What? Do y'all see the colors that is changing? Look at that. Bro, oh wow, it's like a full plasma ball now, y'all. But yeah, y'all, look at that. Have y'all seen anything like this before? China's getting all the action right now. I see why people are running inside. Very interesting times to be alive, y'all. Because look at all these wonderful things that are being this close to us. But what do y'all think this is? Let me know down in the comments below. Let's get this shift. Okay, so this was a video that was taken in Ohio of the, the 13th of Ohio this year and as you can see it's sitting there now watch it again it just sits there and then all of a sudden it just takes off so it's defying gravity as it's just sitting there does it have any means of propulsion who knows but there it goes now let's continue to watch it and watch it again as it plays Okay, it does seem to have a trail behind it. I don't know if anybody can see that, but it has that trail 
behind it, which that does throw up a red flag for me. Um, could it possibly be a drone, some type of a military drone? Uh, I'm hearing that there's been drones showing up all over the United States. And honestly, I will tell you what I think. I think that not everything that we're seeing are drones. I don't think they're all drones. I think we're seeing whatever these beings are. Personally, that's what I think. And I think they're monitoring, watching, seeing what's going to happen. There's such chaos on our planet right now. And I do believe that they're monitoring and observing. Maybe I'm just way out there, right? I don't know. They've deactivated nukes before, so maybe I'm not way out there. Leave your comments. The following video is captured by a man named Ralph out of Rhineland Palatine, Germany. On October 5th, he's recording an unidentified object in the sky, which some assumed at first that it was maybe a comet or a meteorite, but then it does something interesting. It splits off into several different other unidentified objects. There's no explanation for this. It wasn't skydivers. It wasn't some sort of military training. Locals have no idea what they recorded in their night sky. Take a look at this and tell me what you think. I keep an open mind, but it's hard not to wonder if some of these clips are just taken out of context. Like the recent UFO sighting in China, it honestly looked more like a scene from the current conflict in Europe. Did y'all see that there's also these new Tesla dogs as well? Elon Musk is not playing y'all, he literally made a dog to replace your dog. Not only that, but they came out with a Tesla horse. And they also have a cheetah Tesla prototype that they're working on currently right now y'all. And this thing is doing all kinds of flips and tricks. And get a little of this, not only that, but they also have a monkey prototype that they are currently working on. What is Elon Musk trying to do? What is going on? Why is Tesla creating all these things? I mean, did you hear what Elon Musk had to say? Y'all check this out. We probably none of us will have a job. Um, there will be, but in that benign scenario, there will be universal high income. Uh, not universal basic income, universal high income. There will be no shortage of business. If the computer can do, and the robots can do everything better than you, uh, then, uh, what does your life have meaning and i guess this is the reason why they're creating all these animals to go with these humans and then these robots trying to be us and the crazy thing is this is supposedly happening in our lifetime we don't have to wait we don't have to wait for movies to come out this is happening right now but yes y'all let me know what you guys think about this video this is strictly for entertainment purposes only y'all Let's continue to get this shift. Peace in. I'm genuinely excited about Tesla's latest innovations with robots. If I could afford one, I'd seriously consider getting one just to see what it could do around the house. Always wanted a Rosie from the Jetsons. It's thrilling to imagine just how advanced these robots might get in the future. But I'm not sure about a dog. The two I have can't be replaced. Y'all, did you know that there was a pyramid in California along the rock side? That joint is called Pyramid Lake. I just find it funny though that we're all now just finding out about this because I personally never heard about this until now or seen this ever. Now look, the even stranger thing about it is that pyramid also is the same as the one from Egypt and there's pyramids in South China that look exactly like that, y'all. Now remember those theories about America being ancient Egypt and shit and those videos that I was putting up, right? Don't y'all find it a little strange that this is supposed to be over in that area? Now, I just think that it's very odd that this is in California, right? And that we even have maps like this, you feel me? And look, if you really peep, it looked like you got covered up or something. Like, like that was like some type of crazy mud flood or something. Oh my God, that told me like it's covered up by the mud flood. Oh my God. I just got that crazy download. Wake up!
If you haven't heard about this yet, people are now starting to hear these really scary and loud noises all across the sky all over the world, but scientists still do not know what they are. So these bizarre sky quakes are being heard around the world, but scientists have yet to uncover what they are. I'm going to show you the full video in just a minute so you can hear it for yourself, but they're saying that there's a lot of potential theories to what is going on, but there's not a definitive answer, so nobody knows. Scientists have considered that the booms may be meteors exploding in the atmosphere, military testing, or even related to storms or earthquakes. However, people are hearing it without storms or earthquakes. Even though everybody's calling these skyquakes right now, seismologists are unsure whether tectonic activity and these sounds are even linked in the first place. And then if you want to hear what I'm talking about, this is the video. Strange sounds are being heard around the world. In Sweden, this sure sounds like a trumpet. Michigan, another trumpet-like sound. Obviously, like I said, scientists have not been able to figure out what exactly that is yet, but I will keep you updated, so make sure you add me and come back. What the heck? There's two moons. Where? Crazy, right? Yeah, you're... Not, Just keep videoing it and then turn around to the sunset. I, I Look how pretty it is one. over there. Now zoom in over there. Yeah, that's. Just, I don't think that was supposed to be there. <laughs> now go back to the sunset. Oh, look at this, y'all! This was just last night. This is in Kansas City, Missouri. This couple was outside walking their dog, and they looked up and they saw two moons. Not a reflection two moons up there y'all meanwhile on the other side you have the sunset going on you see everybody's just confused as to why this is happening because we were never taught this in school we were taught lies and now everybody's seeing two moons three moons four moons two three suns okay i see the two moons y'all but what is this next to this right here what is this it's stationary it's not moving what is that y'all see that I zoom in, but they're not staying focused enough so you guys can see what this is. But look at that, y'all. Look at that. That can't be a star, right? That's not a star, is it? It don't even look like that. That looks like a ship that's like hanging right off this moon or the second moon, whatever you want to call it. Because everyone agrees that this one's right here is the original moon and this one right here is... I don't know the second moon I guess but again this looks like a sun this does not look like a moon y'all this is crazy you you see how much brighter it is than the original moon what the heck there's two moons where and y'all see that what that's not a street light that's not a street light because that one is there's a lot of things that are unexplained going on in the world right now y'all but we got two moons in Kansas City Missouri y'all yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's supposed to be there either. But we are in a new beginning, y'all. The shift is here. Anything can happen. Let's continue to get this shift. Peace in. This was spotted on trail cam just the other night. Take a close look. Let me highlight it for you. You see something there? Something either standing on that tree stump or floating above it? Now, while that's pretty clear, it was still kind of hard to see because it's a bit far away. So let's zoom in and see if we can get a better view. Okay, that's better. There's something there, but I can't tell what it is. And I can't tell if it's standing on that tree stump or floating over it. Now, I don't know about you, but if I see something on trail cam, even if it looks like a person floating over a tree stump in the middle of the night, I'm going to freak out. I'm going to freak out. But just to make sure, let's look even closer. Okay, this is a lot clearer, but I can't tell if it's standing on the tree stump or floating. It does look like a person, but it could be a spirit, a ghost, a demon, a goblin, a ghoul, or maybe Pete. Let me know what you think this could be. Caught on trail cam just the other night. Let me know your opinion, Vooshkies, in the comment section. <laughs> Nowadays, we're living in a time when practically anyone can create hyper-realistic visuals with the right tools, and it adds a layer of skepticism. 
Are we witnessing true glimpses of the unknown, or are we just being skillfully duped? What the heck? Two moons. Where? Crazy, right? Yeah, you're... They're... Just keep videoing, and then turn around to the sunset. I Look how pretty it is over there. Now zoom in over there. Yeah, that's... Just, I don't think that was supposed to be there. <laughs> Now go back to the sunset. Oh.